the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight here are some things that you can do number one as soon as you come in please say hashtag live or hashtag replay depending on what you are viewing next I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture or you may have heard about Chalk Couture but you're not currently working with the designer because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And and I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Forget the day we met, your eyes are blue. Next if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Tour opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Tour, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hello, happy Monday. I'm so pumped to be here today to create again. I have been busy doing all types of awesome admin work, I will say, in my VIP group this morning. I had lots and lots of thank yous to make to my amazing customers, but now I am ready to have some fun creating and we're going to do it. But first, we're going to talk about some things. So number one, we're going to talk about Club Couture. As you heard, it is the hottest DIY home subscription service there that even offers some awesome benefits. So number one, this is our May Club Couture. And guess what? It's already sold out because how amazing Club Couture is. But that doesn't mean that you cannot join during the month of May. Um, during, whoops, there's the reminder. I was waiting for that. Um, during the month of May, if you join, your subscription act actually does not begin until June the 5th of 2020. And you'll start with June transfer. This was just the add-on. The add-on that you can do right now that has not sold out is the Kickstarter kit once you join Club Couture. This comes with a 9x12 porcelain steel Aiden magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a three-ounce bright white, a multi-tool, and a five and a half by seven and a half palette frame. The other awesome thing about Club Couture is you will get awesome flat rate shipping. Now, my customers already get $6.95 flat rate in the U.S. and $13.95 flat rate in Canada, but Club Couture customers get $4.95 flat rate in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada. The other thing you will also get is access to private Chalk Couture sponsored sales, and this month is pretty epic. It is called Last Chance Love. Every single item in my online store in the Last Chance section is 50% off for Club Couture customers. You do not want to miss out on that. You should also know that when you join Club Couture under me, you will go into my private Club Couture group where I'll go in and make three additional projects without fail to give you the most bang for your buck. So that's all the details about Club Couture. Now, if you'd like those details messaged over to you, all you need to do is say club down below and I'll be sure to message them to you. Also, if at any time, if you'd like to go into my VIP group and you are not a Chalk Couture designer, comment me down below. I'd love to have you in there. The next thing I wanted to make sure that I talked to you guys about is if you are interested in 
purchasing a business in a box and joining my team. You guys, this is what I call a business in a box. It's everything you need to get your business up and running from the second you get it. Um, this uh, new designer kit is $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S., $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada. It's going to come with five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee and apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, the gorgeous spring summer catalog, Six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers and the club couture transfer. It is everything you need. Now, I'm sure you're saying, Jess, that's all well and good, girl, but I've got questions. No worries. I've got your answers. All you need to do is comment, join down below, and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. So if you are interested, comment, join down below. Next, I want to remind you, we are less than a week away from the Chalk Couture Watts of Love Chalkathon. Not only will I be going live on Saturday, May the 16th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Chalk Couture is also going to be live all day from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. There are going to be tons of amazing items that are going to be up for grabs, tons of prizes on the Chalk Couture page, and I may even be throwing some things out there too. So I hope you will join in and hope, and hopefully you will maybe even purchase a good uh, a a product, project that I completed because you guys know it's the only time I ever do anything with my projects that I create is when we do um, a chalkathon. Now, while I'm finishing up over here, getting these camera angles ready, this is a little something all about Chalk Couture for my brand new friends that are joining us to learn about Chalk Couture. Hey, Shelly. Hi, Kat. Hi, Michelle Scott. Hey, Margaret Miller. Hi, Diana. Hi, Kat. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Pam. Hi, Leslie. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Kate Smith. Hey, Jocelyn. How are you? Hey, Jima. How are you doing? Hi, Nancy. Hi, Leanne Parker. Hi, Karen Michelle. Hi, Jean Fires. Hi, Steph Carlton. Hi, Georgie. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Debbie Green. Hey, Megan. Hi, Mary. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Jen. Hi, Kathy Garcia. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Diana Carlson. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Nikki Morris. Hi, Mary Beth. Let's see. Hi, Darlene. How are you guys? I'm so glad you're joining me today. So let's go ahead and let's create. So if you guys remember, this was one of the pillowcases that I um, dyed with the Rit dye. Okay. Um, I will tell you fun facts that I learned about that. The Rit dye, it is the longer you keep it in, the more vibrant the color is, especially if it's a black. In person, this is almost black. It's more like a dark gray. Second, you're already using super hot water or super warm water to get the color to stay. Don't put in the washer in hot water and then dry it on hot. You will shrink your pillowcase, which I learned. I can't even fit <laughs> the 17 by 17 ink mat in it. So we're going to make do with what I've got right now. So let's go ahead and let's create, shall we? I'm hoping that this is going to be um, still big enough to fit this entire transfer because I want this whole thing on here. I hope you guys have been seeing some of the things I've created with this as for our other little pillows for this. So um, we're going to finish up the pillow section of our patriotic decor, um, today with this one. Okay. Now this transfer is coming back in stock into my online store this week. Is that even on? I got to pull it down just a little bit. Hey, Samantha Miller. How are you? Hi, Mary Egger. Hi, Trish. Hi, Living Cavalier. Hi, Kim Nitz. Hey, Darlene West all over on YouTube. Hi, Sean Marie. Hi, Kim Adams. Hi, Becky. All right, so I'm trying to see where I can put this so that way the entire transfer is going to fit. Because guess what? <laughs> I did a good job of shrinking it, that's for sure. I truly did. Get that out of the way. Oh, it's got to get moved over, Jess. So it looks like I still have my width. I just don't have my depth. That's for sure. And if I could just move it up just a little bit more, I might be able to get the whole thing to fit on, which will be amazing. Now, I'm going to do this probably in sections. I'm going to get my heat, my, um, heat press 
warmed up. Okay, 330. We're going to get it on. All right, so I purposely wanted to use the black one because that way I could do Candy Apple Bright White and Cadet inks on this because I really want it to appear patriotic, you guys. So I already know um, this is going to be the colors I normally would do, blue and red, right? Um, I'm thinking Old Glory. Fourth mm, of July should probably be red. Home of the should probably be white. Brave should be blue. I think I'm going to do Old Glory and red, the stars and white. I think I'm just going to kind of make it up as I go along. Okay. So let me just scoot this down a little bit. Let's see. Hi, Deborah May Jones. Hey, Kristen. Um, the box frames. So five by seven. I do not have a date on the five by seven box frames. This six and a half by 18 and a half box frame, I believe is this week. I'm pretty sure. All right, hold on. I have to be super careful because I can see myself making this go everywhere. So hold on. Hold tight, you guys. I finally, you guys, this is the first time I've had a three ounce candy apple. I had been using my two ounce one that came out when we launched ink in like February of 2018. You guys, that was crazy town. It just was that I hardly had to use any ink. So because of that, there we go. That way it doesn't make a mess in my trash can. Oh, well, it already made some red on there. So there's, there's that because I didn't pay attention. We, okay. So let's get a piece of paper towel because we're definitely going to need it. I can already see, by the way, my <laughs> my project's going. All right. So I have my candy apple open, my bright white, which is just about done. I'll be opening another one of those very soon. Okay. We need to use another paper towel because hello, ink getting everywhere. All on my nails. Oh my gosh, I'm already a mess, you guys. Not a good sign. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. Hi. Okay. All righty. So let's get these colors ready. I think, I don't even know that I've ever even opened my cadet. Did I? Nope. Never even opened the cadet ink. So we're going to do the same thing. Get out of the way. Bright white. So I don't. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hold on. Need another small squeegee. Because we're going to be covering lots of space today. So I'm going to probably be using the small squeegees for all the colors. Now this pillow because it's a big size, this will live outside on my porch. So I am using Couture ink. The last few days, if you guys remember, the colors, I mean, I used chalk paste for everything because it was um, things that were not going to be outside unless I was outside with it because I didn't want them to pick up and fly away. Hi, Terry. Hi, Tracy. Hi, JL. How are you? What out the porch transfer? Welcome to our porch, Kristen. If that's what you're talking about, that comes back in stock this week. Do you have the mat inside? Jean, I, I don't have our ink mat inside because, like I said, I shrunk the transfer. I mean, I shrunk the pillow case, so. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I, I hope I'm saying your name right. Is it JL? Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Leora. Hi, Leanne. I really like to ink. Do they plan to come out with more pretty ink colors? If they are, yes, it will be in our autumn winter catalog, which will launch in July. Hi, Brianne. I'm super excited to buy this transfer and make all the things you made. Aw, thanks, girl. Living Cavalier. What is your name on YouTube? Because I don't know how to, I don't know what to, to address you as. And I feel... A little weird saying, hey, Living Cavalier, when I could probably call you by your name. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. So we're going to do 4th of July in our candy apple. Now, when I do this, hold on, I need to move these inks out of the way. Hold the phone, guys. I'm going to move over just a smidge, just a little bit. Get out of the way, wire. One, two. Let's try to put it like that. Okay, so when I ink... I will like to start above the silk screen area and I will pull it down. Now, another thing with when I use ink, I will stick with going the same direction. I like to go top to bottom or bottom to top. And the reason for that is if I have a bleed, I can kind of hopefully keep it contained, if you will in that area. Okay. I, I don't want it to spread if I happen to have a bleed because, you know, whether it be that, you know, I've been using the heck out of this transfer. So, you know, they are guaranteed to be able to work provided you take good care of them, you know, eight to 12 times. You follow the ways to, to take care of them. Um, you know what I could probably do? Fourth in red, white, and blue. That might be cute. Hmm. I'm trying to think. No, you know what? I'm going to do all, the 4th of July all in red. I'm going to do that. So like I said, I will either go top to bottom or bottom to top. I don't like to go sideways when inking. And because I'm trying to do this in multiple colors, I probably am going to go bottom to top of the area because I'm going to make sure I don't put any into a spot where I don't want it. Does that make sense? Okay. So we've got our candy apple done for that part. Now let's do, oh, I need another small squeegee. Home of the Brave. And we're going to do, actually, let's do the flag part first so I can see how this looks. Okay. I'm hoping the blue is going to show up on the black. I'm hoping it's vibrant enough. It appears like it would. Um, I really do hope it does, though. If it doesn't, I'll likely go over it again and see if I can't make a layer pop. We'll see. I'm just trying to be super mindful of where each spot begins and ends here. So I don't go into other colors. Oops, that just got on my nail. Okay, that appears to be all covered. All right, let's do Home of the in bright white. Okay. Hi, Mikey. Hello there. Okay, so we've got home. Hoping I'm not getting any ink on my new shirt here today. <laughs> home of, I'm going to be super careful there because I don't want to pull it into the blue. Where, well, the area I'm going to put the blue, I should say. I obviously did not put it down yet. Okay. put the white on its lid. Let's go back to the blue, the cadet, and do brave.
trying to be uber careful about where the right weight is here because I don't want to go into it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's continue on with some candy apple. We're gonna do our stripes and we're gonna do Old Glory. I hope this turns out as awesome as I'm. <gasps> Ooh, that might be a bubble because of the way that I just pulled that. Oh no, I hope I did not pull any of the cadet into the red because I wasn't paying attention. That would be a bummer. Nope, you keep it. You stay on. Okay. Almost done the stripes. Just trying to make sure that all our colors in there. Okay, I'm going to do Old Glory in the candy apple as well. And I'm going to do the stars down below in white. Trying to be very mindful of my positioning with my squeegee here. So that way I'm not getting any anywhere else. And you guys know I like dirty and dingy. So if I have some bleeds, I'm going to be A-OK -okay with that. I'm telling you that now. Because I think it'll only give it, add more to the distressed look of it. Okay, trying to move as quick as I can. Thankfully with ink, you get a little more leeway time. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of bright white, Jess. And to be honest with you, I really don't even want to attempt to pull this up, seeing as I am the queen of messy. I will probably end up having the ink was a clean crafter. I wouldn't worry so much. <laughs> Whoa. Good thing I paid attention there. I'm going to do celebrate and the cadet. Oh, that looks so good. Hoping it comes out, like I said, as vibrant as I'm hoping. It may have not been a great judgment call to do it on black, but we're going to see. If it's not, I redo it. I'm not really worried. Looks super good. I'm going to do Land of the, also in bright white, and then I'll do Free and Blue in the Cadet, and Liberty in red. I think that's going to look awesome. Oh, I got to be careful. I'm in a little crazy town with the candy apple there. So I just have to be mindful of it. Okay. All right. We'll do our free... Let me pull this up for us. Please don't get stuck on anything. Okay. Trying 
trying to be super stinking careful about where I place my squeegee for the tops of these letters so I don't run into the bright white. I don't want the bright white to pick up another color, you know? Okay, and we're just about done. Hopefully this doesn't bleed because that was uber close to the end, like really close to the edge of it. <gasps> ah! Did I really do that? See, that's why it's so important to check your placement, you guys. Oh my goodness. This Liberty might be a little bit of a wreck. <laughs> We'll see. Because I did not realize that I had... Get that on my hands. Bummer. All right. Ready? Now, once I pull this off, I have got to go right to wash it off because of all this ink. I have no place I can stick it. Okay. So far, so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, I had a little bleed on Brave, but that's okay. It's okay. Ooh. And a little bleed at the end of Liberty, and, and that's okay because you know what? I think what's going to happen is where the pillow is, you're not even going to see it. All right. I knew that was going to happen. There was a wrinkle right here. And you know what? It's okay. I'm going to test something out. So give me a sec. Let me go wash this off so I don't end up getting ink anywhere on me. Okay, you guys, I am back. Ay. Okie dokie. Oh, let me get these inks closed up. Well, let's do this. Okay, one, two. I just don't want to have any ink on myself here because, like I said, obviously I'm super messy. Oh, see, that's got ink all over it. I'm begging to wear that. That's what's happening here. There we go. I think we're good there. All righty. Now, oops, see, I already got ink all over my hands again. That did not take long, you guys. 
Seriously, messiest crafter ever. Okie dokie. So Liberty, mm, a little messed up. Which, like I said, it's going to be okay because... Um, God bless you. Okay. It's going to be at the very bottom of the pillow. And like I said, I, I had a little wrinkle here. So the brave sort of bled a little, but it's okay. It still looks awesome. Holy, lots of comments. Hi, Timmy. Will the cadet show up on that pillow? Yeah, it's showing up, Kate. I hope you guys can see it. Hi, Ro. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Ann. Hi, Brian. Hi, Christy. Hi, Euphrasia. This is how you know it was homemade with love. Exactly, Lisa. Hi, Dion. How are you? Hi, Jen Iser. Hi, Nellie. Hi, Deb Burns. Oh, thanks, Shelly. Hi, Iris. Hi, Jess. Hope you're... Thank you, Deb. I had a great one. You'd be sweating bullets by now? No, no sweating bullets. Messy Jesse is right, Iris. Thanks, Lisa. Hi, Emery Cobb. Hey, Vicki Hunter. Doesn't look so good. Thanks, Sarah. Hey, Kim. Making a shirt. What heating setting do you want the heat press to be at? 3.30, uh, Brianne, for 30 seconds on each side. Hi, Tanya Van Winkle. How you been, girl? I cannot wait to order this one. Yes! Oh, Leanne, you're going to love it. I'll let you know as soon as it comes back in stock. Pam from Maryland, Living Cavalier. I love it. Mary, nah, I don't do, I don't usually wax box frames. Sorry, guys, I was just answering some questions. Um, I don't usually wax the box frames. I don't. Hi, Pam from Maryland. Wait, Pam from Maryland, are you also Living Cavalier on YouTube? Oh my gosh, you guys, I got ink on my face. How come nobody told me? How did that happen? Oh my goodness. Is it on me? <laughs> How do I manage, you guys? I'm serious when I say I'm a mess. A mess. Do I have ink on my face anymore? I had a bunch of red ink. I do? Where? Where? Oh, guys. All right. Well, I have red ink on my face, and it's just going to have to stay there until I'm done. Ah. Thanks, Kate. You do, too, Dion. You get everything on you. Oh, my gosh, girl. I'm live, I live with this stuff on me all the time. And the blue is so pretty on this. Oh, my gosh. In person, it's awesome. Look how crisp my stripes are, man. They are on point. I need to come in and try to line it up somehow and get the white in between. That would be super good. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm drying the ink. That's what you would look like, Lisa. <laughs> I still have it on me. It's okay. Hi, Diane Siegel. You can't see it in the little window? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Brand says it's still there, so I can't see it either, but it's it's all over, he said. It is all over my right cheek. Well, hopefully it comes off. <laughs> it will come off. I know it will. Ooh, that's hot. a big area to dry so I'm just using my heat tool and remember when you so you have to dry it first number one before you heat set it it's got to be dry so you could dry it with your hair dryer with an embossing gun a heat gun anything as long as it's dry right next thing you have to make sure of is you heat set it for 30 seconds at 330 on each side if you have a heat press if you don't, you're going to use an iron on a cotton setting for four minutes on both sides, and then it'll become permanent. Okay? Hey, Kim Castleberry. Ha! 
laugh, Michelle. You're so funny. You are saying hi back to someone in Maryland. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, Living Cavalier is Pam in Maryland. Oh, watching from California is Pam. Gotcha. And then Pam in Maryland. Got it. Got it, got it. Hi, Michelle Morales. All right, so we're almost done. Now, how you can tell if it's dry. Ink is always going to feel tacky until it's heat set, really. So I just lightly come in and I will tap it. It's going to feel tacky as long as you don't pick up any ink on your finger. And that's why you want to do it lightly. It's going to be dry. So this, see how the blue, I tapped it. It's still wet on, on my finger. So it's not dry yet. So I'm not even going to attempt to heat set it. So I'm going to keep doing this. Oh, that red is definitely still wet. Just put a lot on my hands. That is definitely still wet. Take care of that. I really love it. I think it looks awesome. Like I said, I wasn't going to be upset if there was bleeds in this because I like it to look dirty. I definitely do. Okay, so now it's time to heat set it. We're going to make this permanent. So because it's such a big area, I'm going to do certain sections first and move along. Okay, so let's get up here first. And I'm using a heat press, so I'm going to do it on 330 for 30 seconds all over it. And then I'm going to flip it inside out and do the same thing again. If you have an iron, you want to do it on the cotton setting, four minutes front and back each section. Okay. Hey, Charlene. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Eileen. How are you guys? Thanks, Dion. All right, let's move it down here. Do the same thing. Whoa. Move it around. I have to get all my tools in the back. Clean them up. You guys, I love this. I love how it turned out. In love. And this transfer comes back in stock this week. So if you want to know when it's coming back in stock, just comment home of the, whoops, did I do? Home of the brave down, hashtag home of the brave down below. And I will make sure I let you guys know as soon as it's back in stock. I know home of the brave, freshen up. Um, grow. Then sings my soul. 
Welcome to the porch. They're all back in stock this week. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And last week, leopard print came back in stock. Border racers, which if you do not own a border racer, get two packs. Those things are amazing. Absolutely. I don't even use Lysol wipes anymore. I use the border racer to clean my transfers. I think they work so much better. Seriously. Oh, this is parchment paper. You want to have a parchment paper barrier in between your transfer and the iron. First, do parchment paper. It will, it, it's going to stick to it. It's going to be a mess. So you want to have a parchment paper barrier. Okay. Now I'm going to just make sure I do have it all. And I'm going to go up the middle now. Okay. It looks so awesome. I cannot wait to stuff a pillow in this and get on my porch with all of my stuff. Oh, I love it so much. I love patriotic decor, guys. Just saying, I love it so much. Okay, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to move it down here to the middle. Now, there it goes. And then we're going to do the inside and then it's done. So while I got this going, you guys, I want to just remind you, if you'd like to make sure that you are in my VIP group, um, as long as you are not a chocolate tour designer, you can be in there. Um, comment me down below. If you want to hear the details about my opportunity group, comment join down below. And if you need the details on joining Club Couture under me, comment club down below. Okay. The color trays, yes, they are also back in stock this week, Deb Burns. Thank you so much for reminding me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I forgot that they were also back in stock this week. Oh my gosh, look how good it looks. I love it. Oh my goodness. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it inside out. Oh my God, it's so hot. And I'm going to stick the parchment paper inside it. And we're going to repeat the same thing. Okay. There we go. Hi, Ryder Die. I love the red on the black too, Holly Smith. You got it, Deb. Plastic tape. Yes, the placement tape is back as well, Michelle. Yes. Thanks, Leanne. Hi, Brenda Irvine. Hi, Mandy. How are you? Hubby and the kids just bought the large crib. Wow, Dion. That's awesome. I have the original one. And I actually won it at one of the vendor events that I went to to vend. And I bought some tickets and... I won the easy <laughs> press. I was so excited. Ah. I was on a mission to win that puppy. It was when Ink just launched to Chalk Couture. So I was like, oh, I need that. <laughs> hey. Yes. I was so excited that I won it. Bram was there. He was helping me out. Oh, stop it. No, we didn't. He is so, he's rotten. I just put every ticket that I bought inside the thing. That's all there is to it. Okay, put the next one. Okay. Let's keep on going. We're almost done with this. I'm so bummed. Okay, move it over, do it again. Santa brought yours, Michelle, that's awesome. That's so good. And if anybody was wondering, it's called Rit Dye. That is what I use to dye my pillowcases. I got it right on Amazon. 
This is supposed to be black, Mandy, but it's more like a charcoal. Um, I actually did. This was one of the ones I dyed for you guys in the team page. Um, it's more like a charcoal color the way it turned out, but I like it. I like it, this color. I kind of wish I would have done one in like a denim. That probably would have been awesome. Or like a, a blue. That probably would have looked super awesome. I know. Just wait, Mary Beth. It's going to be awesome. As soon as I make everything, I'll post a picture of it all. We're almost done. Yay, yay, yay. It does look purpley on screen. I can see it on the screen, too. It's not. I think it's because I have a light right at my um, desk here. I, I think that's why it's, like, doing it a little... Pam, these are actually our pillows. These are our Chalk Couture square canvas pillows. I just dyed it with Rit Dye. I'm going to go one more time, and I think I got it all covered. And then we're going to be all done. Who's excited? I know I am. Can't wait to see it. Let's get these away. Three, two, one, done. Shut off my easy press. Get it back in the tray. Get my parchment paper back out. Oh, something was wet. I have cadet on the parchment paper. Let's see how bad I made it. Oh, it looks so good. Even with the few bleeds that I had because of the creases. Because I'm the world's worst ironer. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> like I said, it still looks absolutely awesome. Really does. Oh, this was where it was still wet. I guess I just got it on my hand. That's okay. Come on. Come on out of hiding here. There we go. Looks so good. I can't wait to stuff it. Eek. Here we go. I can't, can't get all in there. There it goes. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. Just wait. Just you wait. All right, guys. I hope you liked the project today. I'll be back tomorrow with another super fun um, an exciting video. It'll be earlier tomorrow for sure. Today it was a little late because I was in the middle of doing, like I said, I had a lot of thank yous to give in my VIP group. Um, make sure you're in there. Tons of awesome stuff's going on. Come at me down below as long as you're not a chocolate tour designer. And I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Have a great night. If I could get it to end again, we're having those issues again. Bye.